Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment for my brain and today c'est a while for we are starting a brand new let's play we are going to be playing Book of Demons so Book of Demons is a dungeon crawler game um, mixed with some card collecting elements so think a little bit like a mix of Diablo and Card Hunter slash Slate Aspire-ish. Um, <clears throat> so it's definitely a ro uh, a ro it has roguelite elements uh, where the dungeons are kind of randomized every time. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much the best way to describe the game. Uh, I have not played the game very much. I played it only long enough to unlock all of the character classes, uh, or at least uh, the rogue and the mage slash wizard. Uh, so I am not an expert at the game, uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, the game does have a very cool feature that I really 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 like and that I wish that more games would use <clears throat> which is that whenever you enter a floor of a dungeon save for the the first dungeon that's kind of the intro uh, you get to choose the length of your play session and I really like that uh, I think it's a pretty cool concept sometimes you're you know when you're not 12 anymore you have responsibilities and everything so you don't always have three hours you know in one block to play so that's pretty cool but anyway um, that's pretty much it for my intro of the game uh, I don't know all that much more about the game like I said I only played a little bit to familiarize myself with the game and to unlock the classes because you had to play until you were warrior level 5 to unlock rogue and wizard that's what I did and I stopped after that so all right we're gonna go ahead and create ourselves a rogue because that's the class I decided to play as and I usually like to call my girls Mayfair so that's going to be our character here. All right, since it's uh, my first real full playthrough, I'm not going to play roguelite. A uh, piece of, uh, not piece of advice, but kind of a thing about me is that I like to play those games usually in hardcore mode and everything. Um, that game is a little bit different though, so I'm gonna go ahead and play on normal for this playthrough. And if I play the game again at a later time, I'll go ahead and do a roguelike run. Alright, so let's get started here. Alright, so it looks like there's somebody that wants to talk to us over there. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. Oh, he might, huh? Alright. So there's the sage. <clears throat> What do you want? brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. <laughs> but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. Not dark things. evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. 
I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what causes this desecration of holy place. That name is yet to be solved. Uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. That sounds like fun. All right. Ah, oh, missed me already? Yeah, sure. All right, so not a whole lot that I can do right now. So basically, they are kind of forcing you through the cathedral. The first floor or two, something like that, is going to be the intro of the game. That's they're showing you how to play. All right, so they're showing you how many floors there's gonna be. <clears throat> and then this the diabolical creature is bathing in flames. Because why not? <clears throat> All right, so like I said, save for the intro where we're at right now uh, whenever I'm going to enter a floor I'm gonna get to choose the length of it so a little bit more on that later all right so of course uh, taking a bow into the dungeon was a smart choice so uh, the game has a very unique art style where it looks like everything is made out of paper and it, you're kind of put on track so and by that what I mean is that uh, you can't really stray you cannot stray from those paths that you see here so everything so for example I'm gonna smash that now Obviously, I have a bow, so it might not be that evident, but if you were to play the the warrior, it would be the same thing, like his sword, you know, you would hit it from here, like the character doesn't get next to the barrels or the monsters or anything like that. So it kind of gives you a little bit of time to think and strategize on the fly, as opposed to most as opposed to most other uh, dungeon crawlers where you're just facing the foes head on. Come on, you can come here. All right. And well, to pick up the gold and everything, you just mouse over it. All right, so we have our first chest here. Usually it's our first card. All right. New card, Elf Potion, Instant Arts, Restore 20. Alright, so that card has uses. So, <clears throat> there's one use left, and if you go to town, you can recharge that. Right, there's that, but I don't, I don't need to drink the fountain. This is like in most action RPG slash dungeon crawlers and out there this is to restore my elf alright now I have two uses of my card so the cards are basically your abilities Alright, I've leveled up. Alright. So whenever you level up, you get to choose <coughs> where you want to spend your points. So for now, I'm going to get one more point of health. Uh, 
type goes into the cauldron. All right. So if I pay for the cauldron, I can get also my my point of mana that I didn't get. Nice. All right. So we are going to go to the next floor. Alright, so so the zombies when you kill them they explode and they can poison you, that's similar to zombies in other games as well. Nothing new there. Your character will auto-attack, but very slowly, so even if you're kind of trying to think about what you want to do or something like that, um, <clears throat> your character is still going to attack slowly during that time, so you're not completely losing everything. Ooh! Crazy Yvonne! immune right now. was a little bit more difficult than I remembered mostly because I forgot if there was a gimmick or if I just needed to like get him to immune three times which is what I needed to do but I forgot that so it's been a little while since I actually played Get our second card. Ice arrow. Number of arrows 20. Arrow damage 1. Shatters burning hearts with a single hit. Chance to, chance to slow target on hit 50%. Chance to free slow target on hit. Alright, so. I go and equip that as well. Alright, so now we can go down, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna go back to town and see what are all the me messages and everything that we just got. <clears throat> I've been uh. busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing. And it's the art of producing powerful <coughs> magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic any time you want. But the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, 
so they have to be magically linked to your essence. I see, I see. Few living souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest, or at least should be resting. Countless warriors, men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old, were buried there with troves of gold and gems. But the dead are now restless. Quickened by some unholy powers, they are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. Ending their painful existence will be an act of mercy, if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. Well, okay. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself, <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. Uh -huh. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good, but simple people, and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. <laughs> We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. Oh boy. Cards are my specialty. Oh yeah? They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with my help at a reasonable price just like with playing cards the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage all right so so for 150 i can charge this and i will it's per charge there you go. I'm gonna get one potion just in case I don't find a shrine or a, a well or whatever it is called. Ah, oh, missed me already? No, no, that's not that's not it. I've been busy too while you were away. Yeah. Ah, oh, missed me already? So for 500 I can get my one mana, I won't do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wait before I do that. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So, um... So let's go back and let's go down. So now we get to begin the game for real. Alright, so that's what I was talking about. So with the Flexis Cup, you choose the size of your game session. Depending on your preferences, you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger games, regardless of how much time you have you have Flexic 
Flexiscope ensures a fair balance of threats and reward, and that the gameplay experience can be completed in the predicted, predicted time. Since Flexiscope learns your gameplay style, the time estimates for each subsequent session size should be more accurate. Alright, so... Now, at the start, I don't have... Like, you, uh, when you start, you can go with very big, but uh, as you progress in the game, you can make it so that it's a lot bigger, so... Alright. So I think I'm gonna make it to the biggest here, and then I think that's gonna be a pretty good... Um, a pretty good game session so we're gonna go ahead and click on start game all right so some skeleton warriors some monster unmet let's go <clears throat> Ooh. Right, so those have a shield so you have to click on the shield icon to destroy the shield first so that you can uh, go ahead and then hurt it. Let's go ahead and check. Did I find the stairs already for real? Did, didn't I? Sure did, yeah. We're not gonna go there just yet. We're gonna clear the floor first. I want me my, my loot. Give me my loot. There you go. So I've made use. Well, not really made use, but uh, I have my ice arrows. Oh, and now I have more. So I'm gonna save it for a more difficult monster. All right, pretty good. And I did level up. All right, I'm gonna get the mana, the hearts again. What's in there? Ooh, lots of money. Ooh, again. They're just showering me with money so far.
Oh no 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 no! Don't, don't want to be next to you when you keel over. Uh, let's take a look at what we're gonna find somewhere over here. Oh oh oh! Too eager to go get my loot. New gossip in town. Yay. There we go. What's in there? Money? I'll take money. Money is usually a good thing to have. Time to open that chest over here. Oh god, that's it. Good thing I didn't get too excited here. Yeah, what's over here? Aha! Oh no, I don't like those guys. Oh, a couple cards. What's that? Fear. Monsters within your melee range get scared. can always use some fear although I'm not sure how I'm going to scare skeletons and zombies but hey you know money Clear. All right. Uh, let's go take those stairs. Oh yeah, that's true. We can just click on it. Another nice little feature. I don't have to walk all the way to the stairs, which were right at the start. All right. So let's go ahead and clear that before we head back to to town. This place could use some redecorating and a cleaning crew for all the corpses. She's got jokes. Whoa. This is a death trap.
This is not going too well. Maybe I should have used fear. There you go. Oh, it lasts for a while. Okay. It's not just an instant cast and you're done. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. I think I want to go and check this way first. Good thing I did. No, 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 no. Awesome. All right. Now there's only one path to go, which is this way. Woohoo! More level ups! There you go! Oh, that was a short. Level clear! Alright, that was, that was a pretty short uh, area here. Now we should have one, only one more area before we end head up back to town. Okay, so it's gonna be packed with monsters. A couple left, a couple left, a couple left, a couple left, a couple left. All right, well. Oh, all right. So, I, uh, monsters with elemental attacks are marked with a spite circle. They can burn, poison, or freeze you. Beware. Some monsters are guarded by others. They are immune until you kill all the guards. So, be guarded by monsters. You need to kill all of the guards to get the treasure. Okay, okay. So, basically, they're telling me to kill absolutely everything. I don't have a problem with that. Aha, there's a fountain here that I'm probably gonna need. Alright, well, let's go. No, 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 no. Some monsters cast skills. During casting, monsters are immune to damage. Click and hold the skill bubble to break the skill of selected monster. Oh. That's so immune, huh? That's why. So I have friends over here.
That's not good. I think I was supposed to prevent that. But I didn't. Yeah, I need to go past you. And I can't. I don't think I can cancel that one. get this oh. I knew trouble oh why it wasn't easy but I did it that's pretty much all that matters I think that uh, it's clear yet I have that chest over here to open, so... Whew. We got scared for our lives. What's that? The shield. Trying to block incoming missiles. Yeah, well, I think I'd like it better than... Okay, so that's always going to be active, so it's taking some of my mana there, but I have a 30% chance to block. Hey, I forgot the money there. Alright, level, level is clear here. Alright. So now I'm gonna go to town. Alright, so let's go back to town. Alright, there's a bunch of people that want to talk to me. They have things to say. Animated cadavers are capable of experiencing all of the most base effect hunger. Who can imagine a less meaningful existence? Their bodies are still decomposing, so it's recommended to keep them at a distance as the gases they produce are of the deadliest kind. Fortunately, they also smell awful, which serves as a warning. Just like the stench of charlatans and emanating from a fortune teller's wagon. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome back, my friend. I'm sure you've already noticed how things have changed for the better around here while you were traveling around the world. Apart from the demonic presence, of course. What as smart as yourself surely realizes that this mostly is due to my beneficial presence in this small town. Of course, Take yes, yes, an that's it. A simple girl, to be sure, but surprisingly talented when it comes to prize brewing. Her potential would surely go to waste if it wasn't for me. Her focus and strong will remind me of myself in youth. <laughs> then there's the sage, whose stories are nothing but half-truths. Simple folk are easily swayed by men like him, so I have to correct him all the time. As for the healer, I helped him a lot, and even offered to read his fortune for free. But he ran away. Most curious. Make no mistake, he's hiding something. Is he, he is, These creatures huh? are made of stone, which makes them extremely resilient to elements. 
Fire, frost, or poison cannot harm them. Their abilities are fascinating. When harmed, they petrify and lie in slumber for thousands of years, slowly regenerating. All adventurers should be warned that statues may not be what they seem. Some scholars claim that gargoyles carry a trace of demonic blood, like that charlatan woman, although it's much more obvious in her case. I don't think no, you like her much. Your yeah, you're gonna charge this two times. Thank you. Easy come, easy go. Alright, time to talk to uh, you, whoever you are. Thank the heavens for hearing my prayers and sending us a champion of light. I shall aid you in your struggle to the best of my limited abilities. Come to me should you need remedies for ailments of body or soul. Yet you should remember it is no small task to face the legions of evil. You must shield yourself with faith. There is no better protection. I, I think I'm gonna keep my shield, thank you. Allow yourself to falter. You shall become defenseless and even risk losing your immortal soul. I saw what happened to those who went astray in their spiritual vocation and... No, it's better not to dwell on such things lest darkness overcome us. Uh. Alright, let's uh... Let's see oh, what I can get. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Thing is, is I'm about to stop here, so I don't know if I keep the bonuses if I log off. So I'm gonna save it for next time that I play. How about that? And listen for a while. All right. So I think uh, I'm at a good stopping point here. So. Okay, yeah, so it's a kind of an auto save like a lot of games, so we're good here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stop for today. Um, so we started slowly, saw that I am definitely not an expert at the game, but that's okay. And that's, you know, that's gonna be how it's gonna be for the remainder of this playthrough, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I do want to thank you for tuning in, and if you did enjoy yourself, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.